Laura, you're doing a great job of setting me up today. Thank you. Uh, if you think back uh, to the Laura and Jeff uh, session about five minutes ago, and Laura very carefully seated Jeff with the question of, so are these new models and elements and bits going to JATS? Well, one of the long-term things that we're beginning to think about, and several of us have had some discussions informally about this, is that JATS is now a very successful project uh, within NISO. Uh, as Jeff said a few minutes ago, uh, BITS, the intent is to eventually move it into NISO, but to work in a more agile fashion uh, to get it to essentially the state where JATS was when that was first submitted to NISO, that it's uh, very liberating to be able to work outside of the standards environment to get to the point that you feel you've got something fairly stable, fairly correct. Um, something that hasn't really been mentioned uh, except very peripherally over the last couple of days is there's another tag set in the works called ISO STS, uh, which is something came out of a project at ISO in Geneva, the International Standards Organization, uh, about three or four years ago. And there is now a proposal in front of NISO to take that tag set. The proposal has actually been made by um, the American Society for Mechanical Engineers in New York. Uh, Rob Wheeler, are you here? There, right in back, uh, and his colleague, uh, Bob Hollowell. Rob has been uh, spearheading, uh, trying to move this project also towards NISO. Now, both ISO STS and BITS are currently profiles of JATS, but not formal standards. And where this gets really interesting is at the point that you have multiple derivative standards of the same core tag set, but not necessarily all the same people involved in each of these projects. What's the best st structure, both from a working group standpoint, as well as from a standard standpoint, to manage these different tag sets? I'm, certainly with bits and jets up till now, it, those of you who ever studied uh, uh, antitrust know the term interlocking directories, and we've had a, a nice interlocking directory structure between JATS and BITS of referring things back and forth in it. Actually, a fairly formal model. Um, but ISO STS will, I think, bring a completely different group into the mix. And so I'm really here to ask the question of the group, uh, the assemblage here, as to your thoughts as to what would make sense, and just some ideas we've batted around. One is to have potentially three different standards within NISO, a JAT standard, a BIT standard, and an STS standard. Another idea is to have four standards where the fourth one is actually a core tag set standard. Uh, another is to have fewer groups but have different ways of having the groups share tags and models, but the idea is, is this tag suite grows over time to not have it bifurcate, bifurcate to the point that it's not usable as you try to move from one domain to the next, or really to have tags generally tend to mean the same thing as you move from one domain to the next. So uh, I'm asking for your, I'm soliciting your opinions and thoughts as to what might be good ways to organize this. Kevin. Kevin Hawkins, University of North Texas Libraries. Um, this is certainly an interesting and difficult question. Uh, in general, I like um, the model of uh, application profiles, right? Um, the sort of thing that Dublin Core has, and we um, actually, we heard the term yesterday, someone was talking about it a bit, a sort of similar model, um, because it allows um, specific user communities to, um, you know, more nimbly um, um, set up what works best for them. And the assumption there is that there's an overarching group um, or they're pulling from a sort of overarching central standard. Um, but um, uh, I can also say um, from lots of experience with the TEI community that when you try to do too many things, it also gets hard to pull everything together. And so um, uh, I think it could even get a little difficult if you went with the approach of having um, uh, the sort of um, 
uh, I forget you called it a, a, the core tag. What were you calling it then? A core tag suite. Right. Or, from or, which, or maybe a core tag pool. You could right, use that term. Pool from which all of these would pull. Um, you know, if, if if it's anything more than um, names of elements, you start heading down a tricky road here where you're trying to come up with some sort of superset content model that's going to work for all these domains, and I think it will get hard to keep the ab level of abstraction in your head mm -hmm. um, when, when, when considering it and hard to come to consensus. Sure. And actually, one thing to keep in mind is that today the models are not the same even within the JAT standard in that green, blue, and orange are all defined within the standard, but for any given element, the models will vary between those three. Uh, so that, that it leads to an interesting point as to what's the dividing line between how much you try to put into a standard and how much you don't. Well, but they vary, but at the same time, it's not as bad as all that because there is a clean subset relation from green to blue and blue to orange. Where what Kevin's talking about, and he's speaking from experience, he's not merely speculating, because this is a problem that afflicts in the TEI world, mm -hmm. uh, and they have the advantage of being a relatively, um, you know, uh, more ecumenical organization where people are sort of don't need necessarily to uh, to uh, um, to um, uh, generate the same amount of, uh, of of a common language between them. They can tolerate more diversity, whereas much of the reason for JAT and when, much of the reason why JATS has been successful is that it has not done that. Um, and so, listen to Kevin. Okay, so we should learn from TEI and not... Uh... Well, if you want to be TEI, that would be great, but I think JATS has done very well by not being TEI. Okay, point well taken. Other comments? No, and I love TEI. I mean, I think TEI is the appropriate thing for many organizations, mm -hmm. but they're not the ones here. Yep. And, we're, and we're, I don't think we're trying to be TEI. I think we're trying to serve the needs of our communities, and I choose the word communities plural very carefully. Is that Dana back there? Yes, Dana from Silverchair. Um, I'm feeling this very keenly because I just gave a talk yesterday about reinterpreting bits, elements in different contexts. And so uh, with JATS, I, I completely see, and I see many of the overlaps between bits and JATS, but as we go farther afield into different content types, this might be a greater challenge. And I was wondering if you had thoughts on that in terms of narrowing down a standard set between the, tool, the two. I'm actually asking everyone here for your thoughts on this. <laughs> there, as I said, a small group of us have already shared some ideas, and I will tell you honestly, we weren't conclusive. Uh, and so Todd thought it would be a good idea to uh, open this discussion up and get more ideas from this group. Other questions or comments? Thanks, Bert. Thank you.